Hello friends, uh, my name is Nisha. I am here, I am starting a YouTube channel to teach engineering mechanics. I will be covering the whole syllabus of engineering mechanics in subsequent videos and I hope this will be useful for the students. In this session, I will be covering a force system. What is force system? A force system is uh, when several forces act on a body, the whole system is known as a force system. And force system is mainly classified into two categories, coplanar forces and non-coplanar forces. Let's see one by one. Coplanar forces. So coplanar, coplanar forces are forces which are acting on the same plane. See, this is a three-dimensional force. For example, uh, one force is acting like this. And another force is acting in this point. And the force is acting in this point. So these three forces are acting on the same plane. So forces which are acting on the same plane are known as coplanar forces. Another example, a force which is acting like this, another one acting like this, another one acting like this. Again, these three different forces are acting on the same plane. They are known as coplanar forces. Okay. Next is non-coplanar forces. Non-coplanar forces are forces which are acting in the same body but different plane. Okay. One force which is acting like this, and the force is acting downward, and the force is acting in this direction. So these are three different forces acting in this body but in different planes. These type of forces are known as non-coplanar forces. So we have force system classification, coplanar forces, and non-coplanar forces. Okay. Then coplanar forces have further divided into collinear forces, parallel forces, concurrent forces and non-parallel non-concurrent forces. Let's see one by one. First is collinear forces. What is collinear force? So before uh, going into detail, let's uh, know, uh, let's learn another term which is line of action. What is line of action of a force? See, this is a force, F. F1. The line of action of this force is an imaginary line which starts from infinity, includes this force and goes to infinity. So, uh, an imaginary line which starts somewhere in infinity and includes this force and goes to infinity. So, this is the line of action of this force F1. Okay. Another force uh, in this direction F2. A line of action of this force is which starts from somewhere in infinity includes the force and goes to infinity. This is the line of action of F2. So now, our collinear force is, collinear force are forces which have same line of action. Forces which have same line of action are known as collinear forces. Let's see how is it. Here, there is one force, F1. Another force F2, this is our F3 and another force F4. Four forces and the lines, lines of action of the, all these four forces are the same line. F1, F2, F3, F4, all these have the same line of action. So forces which have same line of action are known as collinear force. Next one is parallel force. What is parallel force? Parallel forces are forces which have lines of action parallel. So here F1, F2, F3 and F4. I'll draw the lines of action of all these forces. Move the force, starts from infinity, move the force and these lines are parallel. So these type of forces are known as parallel forces. Now let's consider F1 and F2. F1 and F2 the lines of actions are parallel and apart from that these two forces are in the same direction. So lines of action are parallel and these forces are also in the same direction then they are known as like parallel forces. Like parallel forces. Consider F3 and F4. F3 and F4 has same parallel lines of action. So they are parallel forces. But 
the direction of F3 is downward and F4 is upward. So different directions. Par lines of action are parallel, so they are parallel forces, but the direction are different. So they are known as unlike parallel forces. Unlike parallel forces. So parallel forces we have two cas classification, like parallel and unlike parallel forces. Okay. And the third one is concurrent forces. What is concurrent force? Concurrent forces are forces which are meeting at a single point or forces which are originating from a single point. See, this is a point and these forces are originating from a single point. All these forces are originating from a single point. Hmm? Another case, this point and see here all the forces are meeting at this single point, this point. All the forces are meeting at a single point. This is all the forces are originating from a single point. These are all the forces are meeting at a single point. Concurrent forces are forces which are acting at a single point or which are originating from a single point. This type of forces, this force system is known as concurrent force. Okay. And next is parallel, non-parallel and non-concurrent. These forces are, they are neither parallel, their lines of action are not parallel or they are not concurrent, they are not neutral at a point uh, or uh, they are not uh, originating from a point. Hmm? These type of forces, but it is a force system, it is acting on a body. These type of forces are known as non-parallel and non-concurrent. These are the classification of coplanar forces. Now, next is uh, the classification of uh, coplanar forces, non-coplanar forces. Classification of non-coplanar forces are same as coplanar forces but except one. All these forces except one are the classification of non-coplanar forces. Now pause this video and think for a while which one among this is not a classification of non-coplanar forces. The answer is collinear forces. Why? Why collinear forces is not a classification of parallel uh, non-coplanar force? Because collinear forces are forces which have same line of action. A same line cannot be in different plane. So obviously this is not a classification of non-coplanar forces. All the other three are a classification of non-coplanar as well. Okay. So coplanar forces and non-coplanar forces. That's all for this session and thank you. Thanks for watching.